Okay, so we have yet another question here. We have been told to write down the dimensions of force. Then we, the, then the second question is saying the PRT of a vibrating wire depends on its tension force, its length, and its mass per unit length. Assuming that the relationship is of TMT equal to the constant F to the power A L to the power B, where K is dimensionless constant, use dimensional analysis to determine the value of A B. And why? Very simple, but very tricky. Okay, six marks. So to write down the dimensions of force, let's begin. Let's begin the solving. So for this one, I'll be very quick because it's very complex but simple. Sorry about that. Let me just get onto my pen. Okay, so let me wrap that. Then I get to my pen. Okay, so for A. The dimensions for force, we know that force is equal to ma, and I've been emphasizing m is just big letter m, a is just l over t uh, to the power 2. So in mlt concept, mlt concept where this is x, y, z, this is just going to be the same as where there is M, I'll put big letter M like that, which is here. Where there is A, I can put my L over T power 2. So in ML concept, this is going to be M, L, T. So meaning our X is equal to, here there is a power 1, so 1. Okay? Take note of what I'm doing, please. Then our Y is going to equal to... This is 1, because here there is a 1. Then our t is equal to negative 2. Please take note of that. Just wanted to show you what we are doing here. Okay. Please know the MLT concept. Henceforth, the dimensions for force are ML. T negative 2. Now the question here was saying the period T. So let's try the dimensions of everything. We know that for, for this one, the dimensions for T, which is the period, is simply big letter T. And then the dimensions for force are simply M L T negative 2. The dimensions of length are simply big letter L. Like that, then we have been taught that the dimensions of this guy here, which is mass per unit uh, length, mass per unit length, which is this one, mass per unit length. Now we have been taught that if T is some formula, and then we have a constant here, then we have been told that force is A, then this is B, sigma is Y, the dimensions of T is simply big letter T, power 1, then K is a constant, then F, the dimensions of F is M, L, T, negative 2, I will put everything in brackets, then I'll say A. Then the dimensions of L, we know that it is simply L to the power B. Then sigma, we know that it is simply M L negative 1. Then Y. Then everything is equal to that. So what we are going to do here is this. We are going to expand everything. So this is just the same as T to the power 1 is equal to. This is going to be equal to m to the power a then l to the power a then t power negative 2a okay so i'll put that in brackets then l to the power b then this is going to be m power y then l power negative y like that okay then everything is going to equal to t power 1 okay 
I think we have it here on the other side. So no need. It's okay, both sides. So now when we reach here, we can put everything in order. So I'll start with M's. So with M, with M, I'll say that we have this M, then I have this particular M. So I'll say my first equation is going to be this M, this M multiplied by this M to the power A is going to multiply that M to the power Y. Okay, then everything is going to, because we do not have M on the other side, so this is going to be equal to M to the power zero. So that, you know that you're multiplying the same base, but different powers you add. So this is just the same one, see? M A plus Y equal to M zero. That and that will cancel. So I'm going to have A plus Y equal to zero. And that will be my equation one. So I come to else. When I come to else, I'm going to get L to the power A. Then I'm going to multiply it with L to the power B. Multiply it by L to the power Y. Negative Y then equal to L to the power zero. The same concept. This is going to be L A plus B minus Y equal to L zero. Cancel, cancel. It's going to be a plus b minus y equal to zero. This is going to be my equation two. Okay, so I'll wrap that. Delete. I'll wrap that, then I'll work on this. So I'll say, let me come to t. With t, I have this t here, this t here. I want to have one t. So with T, I'm going to say that I have T power negative 2 A equal to T power to the power 1. That and that can cancel. So I'm going to have negative 2 A equal to 1. So I can start solving with this one. And my A is, called, is equal to negative 1 over 2. I can get this one. This equation so I'll say where there is a I'll replace with that so I can say negative 1 over 2 plus y is equal to 0 then this is going to be y is equal to positive 1 over 2 I found for y now let me try to find for uh, for the other one for B please MLT concept is very important. If you don't understand it, inbox. Inbox. Okay, this is very simple. Very, very simple to solve. Okay, so very sweet to solve and very simple. If, if I can solve this, you can solve this. All right, let me just uh, get my pen. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I can get my pen. Okay, so I'll get my A plus B minus Y equal to zero. Then A was negative one over two plus B. We don't know Y was negative. Y was positive. Okay, then I'll put my zero. Then this is going to be negative one over two plus b minus 1 over 2 equal to 0. So this is going to be a negative 1 over 2 minus 1 over 2 plus b equal to 0. And of course, this is going to be negative 1 plus b equal to 0. And of course, 
my b is going to be equal to positive 1. Henceforth, a, let me just try to use another pen. Henceforth, my a is going to equal to negative 1 over 2. B is, is equal to 1. Then Y is equal to positive 1 over 2. Simple. And that is just how you solve this particular question.